Hi Grade Nines, my name is Jennifer Godlinton, um, but my students normally call me Miss G. I've been teaching maths for the last 10 years and I love sharing my passion with numbers, um, of numbers with my students. We will be together for this year and the first uh, section that we're going to be working on is numbers. So we're going to be looking at the real number system so we can be able to define what different numbers look like. We're going to look at a little bit of ratio and rate, some speed, distance and time, some percentage and finance work. So a whole lot of different basics we're going to just run through in the beginning. A nice little slow entry into your grade 9 mathematics year. Um, it's an important section though that sticks with you for quite a long time. So although we're going to go slowly and carefully, we're going to make sure that you understand everything as we work through it. We are very lucky this year to have a teaching assistant and his name is Mr. Lucky Shongwe. He's going to be with us in our lessons. He'll be interacting with you the same way that I do so he can talk to you. Um, if you unmute yourself and you want to chat on Zoom or if you want to chat on the typing text chat on the side, both are absolutely fine and he will interact with you the same way that I do. Just so you can get an idea of how the lesson is going to look, um, We'll be in a Zoom call. You can ask questions whenever you need to ask questions, and I will be presenting the lesson similarly to what you're seeing on your screen now. Our lessons are always going to be on Tuesdays and Thursdays, running from 5 until 6, so there won't be any surprises there. Um, and try and join as punctually as possible so we can get going with the lesson. If we were looking at a question like this together, we would be saying, okay, well, we've got a, a number of numbers. We've got 1, negative 5, 2, 9, 1, the root of 1, 1 over 2, and root 7. I don't expect you to know what all of these are yet because we're going to be chatting about them in our lessons. But you'll be given a question like this. I'll give you some time to work through them, and then we will work through them together. So if I'm looking at that set of numbers and I'm trying to distinguish what is real, I'd say, well, 1 is real, negative 5 is real, 2 comma 9, 1 is real, then we've got the square root of 1 which is real, half is real, and the root of 7 is real. All of those numbers, numbers are real numbers. They're not all rational numbers, but they are definitely all real numbers. And we will chat about this more in our course. I look forward to seeing you there.